Sunday at the Honda Classic from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, PGA National, and after a difficult day of weather on Saturday, it was a marathon type of Sunday. Let's pick up third round action early in the day. Phil Mickelson with a birdie at 14. That takes him to two under par. Paul Casey looking to get to three under. This was at the 18th. And the Englishman starting to move into contention. Patrick Reed, five under as he comes to 16. Is from close to 20 feet away. Lines it up, releases the putter, and that one falls to get to six under. Patty Harrington trying to dig this out of the Bermuda right of the fairway at 13 from 131 yards. The Irishman bringing it right over that ridge, and that sets up a birdie putt that would take him to six under. Ian Poulter, five under as he comes to the first. Downhill putt sends this one running in from 24 and a half feet. Seven under as he comes to the seventh. Another putt hold. Ian Poulter starting to break away, leading by a shot. And now at 12, adds another. He would have a three-shot lead as we would come into the final round. Poulter in good form, looking for just his second win in the U.S. Phil Mickelson. His second at the par five, early on in the final round. Running to the center of the fairway to take a look at this one. This one climbs onto the green off the right side. It sets up an eagle putt. He would two putt from there though, and he would move to five under. Paul Casey at the fourth, makes that putt. A big one for the Englishman to get to six under, three birdies in his first four holes. Oh, then a poor swing for Ian Poulter. One hands it, it hits the cart path, and it's on into the lake. He would go on to double bogey and then bogey the sixth as well, dropping back to six under. Meanwhile, his playing competitor with a huge make from off the green, Patrick Reed, 35 feet away to get to seven under, but he would bogey the seventh to drop to six under par. This is Poulter's tee shot at seven with darkness approaching, and what a tee shot for Poulter. A nice bounce back birdie to get to seven under. And Paul Casey right there with him, looking for his fourth birdie on the front side. And that takes Casey to seven under, the two tied, sharing the lead. As darkness would fall and the horn would sound. So an 8 a.m. restart on Monday, They'll all be back in position. Golf Channel's coverage at 8 a.m. Eastern, along with Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Keep up with everything by logging on to PGATour.com.